This is Twit. Hey guys, Chad here at GDC 2016. So I'm here in the uh, Unity booth and I'm talking to Marcos and let me know what is Unity talking about here at this convention? Well, I have to say we have a bunch of different things that we've announced, uh, most of them yesterday. It was super exciting. Everything from new product, our 5.3.4 is now in a stable format. People can use it right now to do exciting things. 5.4 is being released in a beta. Um, we release the beta to everyone, so even if you're a personal edition user, you can actually check out all the really cool new stuff, everything from global illumination to um, uh, ray tracing to a lot of new features on the analytics side. So if you want to understand what people are doing in your games, we now allow you to do heat mapping. Um, we have device intelligence that we can show you so that you can say, hey, I want to understand uh, in Latin America, uh, should I be developing for the Android platform or should I be developing for both platforms at the same time, right? Those kinds of questions that are really important to developers. Um, we also had a, a really exciting announcement around certification and education. So we are now for the first time offering certification and actually there are people who are taking the test here. The idea is for companies, we want to allow them to be able to very quickly understand what does a person know? So when they're hiring, they can look and be like, oh, they're Unity certified. I know they're at X level, and I can sort of trust that they'll be able to do these things for me. And on the flip side, if you're a developer, it's a great tool to show that you have a certain competency within Unity. So that was a really exciting thing that we did. Um, we showed our Atom demo, which is actually uh, happens to be up right now, where we really pushed the envelope to do all of the different things that you can do. So you can see it, and it's, it's like watching a movie, except it's all real-time rendered. So the games that are going to be created, the experiences that are going to be created totally different. It's going to really feel like you're just sitting in a movie, except that you can interact with it. And then on the VR front, obviously, we've been doing a ton of stuff. We've worked closely with um, Palmer at Oculus. We've worked with um, Vive. We worked with the Gear VR folks. Um, we announced our HoloLens support yesterday, so we'll be shipping that out. Um, and then a bunch of other uh, really high-end uh, graphics-focused things for the VR. Um, AMD and NVIDIA, they both have the Liquid VR and the Gameworks VR APIs, so we announced that we'll be supporting those. The idea there is really to give developers all of the tools that they need to start creating these really intense and amazing experiences and then optimize for the kind of the GPUs that are out there so that you can actually experience them and put on a headset and be like, wow. Because I think it's all about having the wow moment, right? And we may have gotten a little bit ahead of ourselves. Unity, just to, for people who don't know, I mean, I guess this is a good, is uh, it's been sort of the darling of the indie game scene. I mean, really, it's so great because you can, uh, you know, I was talking to Karsten, our producer before, and they're teaching Unity to his Hacker Scouts group. You know, this is a, uh, a game engine that is it's almost like the friendly game engine in, in a sense that you could pick it up and learn a few basic things. You have libraries of even assets that people can add to your game and then you can scale that up as high as you want to go. So, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah and I, I'd say, you know, you can download Unity right now. You can, anyone can. And until you've made 100,000 in revenues, it's free. Right? So the idea is really to get it in the hands of everyone. And the neat part is we sort of play this Switzerland role. We're a platform and we can help you push out to all sorts of platforms. We support 25 different platforms. So whether that's Xbox, whether that's PS4, whether that's Android, whether it's iOS, or whether it's on the VR side, whether you're going to Rift, we allow you to push out to all of these, Vive, Samsung, Gear VR, you know, all of these different platforms. The idea being, we want you to focus on what you do best. Create cool stuff, right? Let's take the complexity out of it and let's allow you to push it out to a bunch of different places so that you can say, hey, you know, I need to create this awesome experience and I think it would actually translate really well into VR. How do I do that? So you can go into Unity, you've got the bear there and you start to think about, okay, I want to take this game I made in VR and how do I make it a 3D world experience where I can look around and see what's going on and then we allow you the tools to be able to do things like that. That's great. So I know that you just had a lot of announcements yesterday, but if you were to give me a sneak peek at maybe what's in the future, do you have anything to say on that? I do. Uh, so we, we showed just a little bit, not very much, of our in VR scene editing. So in other words, right now you want to create VR, code, 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 throw on the headset, look around, does it work, take it off, code, 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 
ad nauseum, right? So one of the things that we're looking at, and we have a special group within uh, Unity called Unity Labs, who's focused on five year, 10 year out, what are the problems that are gonna be created? And they're thinking about what does it mean to create in VR? And so they've created this experience where you can actually, in VR, in your headset, using your controllers, start to create your gamescapes and your experiences. So you're sitting there and you can literally pick up a mountain, move it somewhere, scale it up. You can add characters all while you're sitting here in the headset. And it's not going to be that you might necessarily create all of it there. You're going to do some coding, let's be real. But it gives you that extra layer of being able to see and feel almost what you're creating in a way you couldn't do if you were just coding. So that's one of the things that we sort of did a little sneak peek of, we're doing more of, and I will say, I will leave you with, it'll be interesting to see that probably not just developers, but consumers may even be doing this kind of thing in the future. I agree, because the thing that VR really gives you is perspective on the world, and it's, it's even more important than it ever has been to actually see that perspective right as you're creating the level. Yep. It's really exciting. Thank you so much for having a great conversation with me right, and cool. looking forward to what comes next.